Jermaine Franklin Jr. Shout out to Goodfellow TV. All right, man, let's talk about Canelo. He announced that he'll be fighting May 4th uh, versus an American opponent. The rumors are saying that it is Jamal Charlo. Also here behind the scene, Terrence Crawford could be in the mix as well, too. Um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. What happened was um, Al Heyman got found the money. And... Um, you know, basically, he had grounds to sue Canelo Alvarez and hold Canelo Alvarez career up, but he didn't want to do it. So whatever agreement they came to, if he came up with the 35, um, or if he didn't, um, don't matter. And I was hearing that Charlo wasn't even training for the fight. That's the crazy shit about it. So, um, and, the, and, the, and the fight is not going to generate enough money for him to make his money, make a profit, but whatever reason you know they digging his own pockets you know would it be a bad president to say well you couldn't afford canelo alvarez um you couldn't afford canelo alvarez you know and then you got guys like luis ortiz jerry Hurd, and some other pbc fighters you know uh fighting elsewhere on smaller promotion promotion i mean where the hell is frank martin he turned down a reported alleged reported 1.3 million dollars and where the fell for fuck Frank Martin at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't release a schedule. You don't release a follow-up fight. Come March 30th, when we have, okay, we got this fight in April. And <laughs> so for the most part, you know, they didn't want to enter litigation. They didn't want to, you know, go into the courtroom. At least Al didn't. So whatever month that he came out, 35 million Canelo wanted or, um, they came to a financial compromise, but apparently that that money sounds like it's in the bank. It's in escrow. So it is what it is. You want to know why they Canelo the top dog? They go out there. He a shrewd negotiator. They got to find the money for him. They found the money for him for the most part. They will carry on. And I hear Jamal Charlo with, a, with an outside chance of Terrence Crawford getting that fight. But last time I heard that Terrence Crawford... He didn't want to fight Terrence Crawford in May. So that's the last thing I heard. Now, could things change? Absolutely. Because, you know, they needed him to fight. Yeah. They needed him to fight Benavidez or Crawford first, you know, to generate the money for the Jamal Charlo fight. Maybe, you know, Canelo Alvarez was like, well, that's bullshit. Y'all got the money. Y'all pony down on my shit. Come up with my money. And what they do? It came up with dude money. So, um, I'm, I'm not the least bit surprised. You know, I'm not the least bit surprised about it, man. And, uh, that's the game. That's the game. So, for the most part, uh, excuse me, keep my hair right. But for the most part, man, I just feel that, uh, I just feel that, you know, true business, man. I think we, about 10 weeks out from that date, about 10 weeks out. So, um, you know, Munguia late in the, early in the morning in the East Coast, he still was in negotiations and they chose to go another route. So I don't, I mean, I'm hearing if Munguia couldn't land a Canelo fight that you could get Benavidez in Munguia. You know, maybe outside chance you get Munguia and Berlanga next. Uh, but, uh, maybe one Guy and Berlanga wait for Canelo to leave PBC and come to the zone. So, but I hear, according to Stevie Kill, Bug Crew said they, I don't know, I've been sleeping the last couple of days. Bug Crew said they still want to get a fight in before, you know, September, if that's when they're fighting Canelo Alvarez. And I've been having a few videos in the, in the vault for about a week now. I got to, uh, find time to release them. One of the videos I did last week was uh, Dana White snatched up that simple that, that makes the Independence Day date in uh, Las Vegas. So, so maybe it'd be, you know, I don't know if they're going to go head up, but I had an LRB video that went up to that should have went up today. And it was basically saying that um, that Benavidez makes more financial sense for Canelo than Crawford. And in that video, uh, 
I mentioned a few things about that video, but Canelo just don't want want that fight right now. So, uh, or the worst things that happened in boxing, and you can blame Bob Arum for this shit. He did a lot of right, did he did some wrong. Was allowing these fighters to come in here, former fighters, and run the sport of boxing. Because when you give the weak power, they abuse the power, right? When you give the lesser opportunities to make decisions. Okay, if you ask your kid, you want to eat a chocolate sundae or you want to eat broccoli? What they going to say? They going to say the chocolate sundae every time. You got to show kids what's best for them. This is what's best for you. Every now and again, maybe a kid can show you that he can make a decision as he or she can make a decision as she get older to do what's the best thing for them. But in boxing, they gave the fighters opportunities go the route of the least resistance or go to uh or go to go to tough route and every time they're gonna choose especially if you're paying the money about the same they're gonna go the easy route every time the route of the least resistance every time is that's what they're gonna choose and that's why you got guys like tfima lopez Shakira stevenson even danny garcia when he beat lucas matisse they thought they were supposed to be these big stars one like everybody see mayweather it was the one fight with de La Hoya that took mayweather over the top in a lot of people's mind that's 11 years and 37 fights of hard work. It's not just one fight that take you over the top. It's not one play that turn a game around. You know, it's not just one thing. It's not suffering one time that that make a motherfucker go from a a a a a, a, a hero or a regular person to a villain. You know what I'm saying? It's not one punch that end a career. You see the punch and like, damn, it's accumulation over a career. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it is. It's just not one thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody see the 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 finished product or see the end result, but it's not, that's just not it. So a lot of these guys got to continue to build their profile up. It takes fight after fight after fight after fight. What are you saying? Snowfall, I don't even watch it. I just seen the clip. He said, I built this shit brick by brick, and you think I'm going to let you mess it up because you don't like the way another nigga talk to you? That's the emotion inside of us. We got to shake that shit. But guess what? It's a thin line between respect and being over emotion. You can't let a nigga disrespect you. Can't let another woman or man disrespect you. You can't. And what's so funny is it's a number of men and women out here that don't say a word and just by their mannerisms, how they move, how they carry themselves, they command respect. Think about that. You know, if you had a traditional woman and you know, walk into a room, she gonna command a certain amount of respect. But, you know, like I said, everybody, everybody see the Internet and think everybody an overnight success. It don't work that way. All them Internet skit guys, it was video, it was starting, it was going, it was believing. It was, you know, it's a lot of these dudes want to put in four or five years as a pro and say, oh, you know, you got to understand. Guys like Hagler had 40 plus fights. But he got robbed on the way to 40 plus fight though, a couple more fights to get a world title. Michael Nunn had 30 some fights before he won his first world title. You know what I'm saying? Think about that for a minute. Gary Russell had over 20 fights before he fought for a world title with Lomachenko. I think he had around 20 fights. A lot of these niggas ain't, ain't got 20 fights. He was very active in the beginning of his career. You know, but everybody wants, you know, these, these rummy noodles era. Everybody wants instant success. You know, everybody wants microwave success. You know, um, it's just a process. Like Yemsa said, it was a process for me to get some paper. <laughs> Everything is a process. Step by what Canelo did is a process. Even the stuff he going through without Heyman is all here, here. Nothing is overnight, bro. You take it step by step. You know what I'm saying? But, um. But yeah, man, but that, you know, you know, that's just my opinion, man. But 
um, you know, and we just got to figure shit out. And that's one of the best things sometimes. And it's hard. And this, this built a lot of great people is when, you know, and I don't even know this, when you got to fucking make a way. Matter of fact, you got to take away and not taking away. You got to just, you got to take your way. Nigga. You got to, you got to just find a way. If everybody holding your hand every time, how you going to figure out what it is to struggle and bust through something? Pause. Sometimes you go through shit. Man, sometimes you, you got to take you through shit for a reason. You going through this, you go over there. You That might be your last fucking day on earth. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I always like putting everything in totality when I'm going through something. Any, anything, when everything going good, I try to stay level-headed. I try to say it's for a reason. And I know in my mind that this good feeling ain't going to last forever. But I also know in my mind it's terrible, this bad feeling ain't going to last forever. So, like I said before, um, it's either Jamal Charlo or Terrence Crawford. Um, from what I understand, Crawford's still in the mix, but I, I think it's still going to be Jamal Charlo. So, um, heard he wasn't training, but 10 weeks out, they can start training. But um, he wanted to bend over and get it checked. You know, he about to put the family name deeper in the dirt. But at least he would have an excuse for why he went out there and performed the way he did. Or he is going to perform. But hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, 12.9. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.